the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 292, Mark 7-8 Jesus' Loving Conversations Jesus, who went to those who needed him and devoted his time and sincerity, performed miracles of healing and practiced love. First point. Jesus took the man that could not hear and could barely speak far from the crowds and then healed him. Mark chapter 7 records the instant where the Sanhedrin assembly sent some Pharisees and teachers of the law to Galilee where Jesus was in order to find an excuse to carry him. They started the debate that Jesus' disciples did not keep the tradition of the elders. To them, Jesus taught that understanding the real intention behind God's laws was more important than any tradition. Jesus then left Galilee and went to Tyre, where he healed the daughter of a Canaanite woman. He left Tyre and went through Sidon back to Galilee, where he healed a man who was deaf and could barely speak. Jesus took the man away from the crowds and healed him through his hands. Jesus prayed to God with a merciful heart. After healing the sick, he told them not to tell anyone. However, Jesus' news spread throughout the land. Second point, to the people who came to learn about the kingdom of God for three days, Jesus performed a miracle by feeding them all. In Galilee, thousands of people gathered to hear about the kingdom of God. They heard for three days, and when it came for them to go home, they were all hungry. Jesus therefore performed the miracle of multiplying the bread and the fish for them to eat. This was because Jesus pitied them and knew full well the pain of being hungry. When Jesus told the disciples to feed the people, they said that this was impossible. However, Jesus performed another miracle in order to feed them. Third point, the yeast in the kingdom of God had to grow but the yeast of the Pharisees and the Herod had to be approached with caution. One day, some Pharisees came to Jesus in order to push him into a trap and asked Jesus for a sign. Mark recorded that Jesus sighed after hearing their request to see a sign. Although the Old Testament provided countless signs of Jesus, they requested to see a sign from heaven. They had the intention to use this against him. Jesus' sign was towards these evil people. The sign that they later saw was the cross and Jesus' resurrection. Jesus later warned his disciples to be cautious of the high priest and the herald's yeast. Yeast had the tendency of expanding. Therefore, the only yeast that should expand was the kingdom of God. The other Easter's were to be regarded with caution. The disciples, however, did not fully understand this warning. Jesus therefore explained it to them again, using easy metaphors and parables. Jesus told them that their hearts were still on the tangible bread, rather than the spiritual bread. Mark used various expressions to record how they still did not realize. First point, Jesus had a compassionate heart when healing the sick. Jesus now headed toward this Bethsaida in order to heal a blind man. The four Gospels record many instances where Jesus healed the blind man, but only Mark recorded the healing of the blind man at Bethsaida as well as the process. First, Jesus took the hand of the blind man and took him outside of the village. Second, he spat on his eyes and blessed him. 
that he asked him how he was. Fourth, he blessed his eyes once again and healed him completely. We can see how Jesus made such an effort to heal one man. Jesus had moss in his heart towards the sick, as well as the spiritual ability to heal them. Fifth point, the crowds said that Jesus was like John the Baptist, Elijah, and Jeremiah. Jesus and his disciples headed towards Caesarea Philippi. And here Jesus asked them who the people thought he was. Jesus asked them what his public image was. At this, the disciples mentioned three people, John the Baptist, Elijah, and Jeremiah. Now Jesus asked them what they thought of him. At this, Peter replied that Jesus was the Messiah and the Son of God. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.